Uh, it has felt like a long time since I filmed one of these grade exam vlogs because it is a long time I suppose. Um, I promised myself that I would not rush through these grade exams and I'm living up to my promise. Usually I start these vlogs by saying hi I'm Lauren, I'm a self-taught adult beginner recorder player but over the past couple of weeks I've actually had my first two half hour recorder lessons so I can't really say self-taught anymore. I chose my first piece for my grade 3 exam a few weeks ago. It's called Tweed Rosamond and it is, of course, from Der Fluten Lustoff van Eyck. I'm definitely getting my money's worth out of this book. I started practising it by myself and I was pretty pleased with how it was going. Um, I even put a little bit of it on Instagram. That video is going to come in handy later. But then I started having these recorder lessons. Like I say, I've had two half hour lessons and for the first lesson, the teacher said, bring along something that you want to work on. So I thought, well, my grade three stuff makes sense. So I took along old Jakob um, and Tweed Rosamond and we sat down and I played it through for the teacher and I thought, well, I didn't totally embarrass myself. That was okay. And he sort of looked at me and said, okay, um, how about we do it again with some phrasing? It turns out phrasing was about to become a very common phrase during my recorder lessons. So what am I trying to say? The moral of this story is I was learning this piece by myself, I thought I was pretty happy with how it was going, played it in front of my new recorder teacher and he said <laughs> okay it's a starting point. We sat down together and after 15 minutes he had completely changed my approach to how I was phrasing and playing through the piece. Hopefully I've managed to dig out a video that I took a few weeks ago of myself playing this piece. This was probably day three of me practicing the piece. If I can't find the video then this video just won't work. Um, but we're going to watch the old video and then compare it to how I've been playing it today. And hopefully you'll be able to hear some subtle changes to the phrases. Maybe they're not subtle. But anyway, I can't say that I wish I'd started having recorder lessons right from the beginning because actually on this journey one of my favourite things has been trying to learn by myself. It's added an extra layer of challenge to the whole thing. But after just two recorder lessons I've got to say I feel like I'm in a whole different dimension of recorder playing. My teacher is changing my mindset. I pretty much start out every piece of music I approach terrified of it and thinking I'm not worthy, I can't do it, it's too hard. Um, Richard just kind of looks at me and goes, why? Just play it. If it sounds like I'm out of breath, it's because I am. I literally have five minutes to get this video filmed and then I have to go. Um, so I'm trying to rush through it, which is the way to create a quality YouTube video. My apologies. Anyway, I shall play for you now the old video of Tweed Rosamond that I recorded a few weeks ago and then we'll play the new one and see if we can hear any differences. Hopefully we can. Um, I'm not sure if this new recorder playing mindset is fully translating into my playing yet or whether it's just me feeling better about my playing on the inside. I don't know.
So what do you reckon? Could you hear any differences between the two? Hopefully you can hear a difference. But like I say, I'm sorry this is a rushed quick video today. Um, I have to be on my way. Um, but if you have enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. I make recorder videos every week, um, sometimes about flutes and things. I have a cool ocarina video coming up. Actually, I haven't filmed it yet, so I don't know if it's a cool ocarina video, but there will be a video about ocarinas. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Bye!